Dear ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we would like to present three ways of starting up a motor with a movie track advanced frequency inverter. First, we will present the startup via Ethernet, then via an interface adapter, and finally via a keypad CBG01A. Startup via Ethernet. The first way of startup is via Ethernet. To do so, we connect the inverter to a computer with a network cable. Then we open the engineering software Movie Suite and click on the button From Network Scan in the category New Project. This takes us to the communication page. Here we select Ethernet under Network Type and activate the scan and Ethernet sliders as follows. The prerequisite for finding a device is that the higher level controller has previously successfully assigned a device name and an IP address to the device. Then we confirm the selection with apply and start scan. In the following windows, we first select apply and then close. Then load device data and again close. In the network view, we see now that our device is connected. Then we click on the icon of our device and open the communication window. Here we can see that a Profinet device name as well as an IP address, subnet mask and default gateway have been assigned. Since our computer is in the same address range as our device, we can access it directly via field bus. To do this, we click on Drivetrain DT1. With MovieTrack Advanced, a motor with equal performance rating is predefined in both drivetrains. However, this can be changed on a user-specific basis. To do this, you can select a motor from the catalog, for example the DRN 132M4. After confirming the selection twice, click on Yes, activate startup state. At this point, the device has been already successfully started up, but it has not been optimized yet. Now other components, such as motor encoders, gearboxes and additional transmissions can be added and user units can be defined in order to adapt the unit to the respective requirements. The startup via an interface adapter is very similar to the startup via Ethernet. To do so, we connect the frequency inverter via the diagnosis module and the interface adapter to a computer. Just like before, we start with the selection of From Network Scan. This time, we have activated via USB instead of via Ethernet. Finally, under Scan Settings, we activate Scan. This scans the interface adapter and USM21A is displayed. The following message has to be confirmed and the device data is loaded onto the computer. In the network view, we can see that the device is connected via USB. The rest of the process is identical to the startup via Ethernet and is therefore not described in detail. The third option is startup via keypad CBG01A. To do so, we simply plug the CBG01A onto the frequency inverter. 
Then we navigate with the arrow keys to the startup symbol on the display and confirm it with the enter key. Then we set all the required motor parameters. The values and the type of wiring are taken from the nameplate of the motor to be started up. The respective numerical values can be changed using the up and down arrow keys. By pressing the arrow keys to the left and right, the digit to be edited can be selected within the number. As soon as the numerical value corresponds to the type plate, it must be confirmed by pressing the Enter key. The parameters to be entered are current, voltage, frequency, power, power factor, cosine phi, motor speed, and control mode. When starting up an asynchronous motor without encoder via the keypad CBG01A, the VFC Plus and VF control modes are available for selection. The motor can now be operated by activating the digital inputs. A default setting is assigned to the digital inputs. This means that by activating DI1, positive direction of rotation and activating DI3 fixed set point or setting at the potentiometer a positive rotary motion is set. Inversely, activation of DI2 negative direction of rotation and DI3 or setting at the potentiometer results in a negative rotary movement. If no fixed set point is selected, the analog input is active. Now the motor is started up and ready for use. Now you have seen how a motor can be started up quickly and easily via Ethernet, an interface adapter, or by using a keypad. SEW Eurodrive – Driving the World